Hi guys, this will be a very short video, not exactly a review, but a very short video on Deep 8 socket erasers used to uh, connect your operational amplifiers when you're uh, doing uh, op amp rolling and you do not have enough space uh, on the uh, PCB board of your amplifier to place something like Aklian LC5 or Staccato. Uh, on the board itself because for example you'll have some elements on the board that will be protruding just around here and it will not allow you to use your favorite discrete open in such case you can find rescue in socket erasers like that like this one uh, I wouldn't even call them device but they are very simple devices. You have one deep socket at one end, you have the second deep socket on the other end, and you have wires connecting sockets. Uh, the wires in this particular one, which I link to the description, are supposed to be made from uh, OCC copper uh, that was silver plated, and they are quite thick, which is actually a good thing because sometimes you may want to position your op-amp in something like that, right? Uh, you don't want this to be hanging loosely. Uh, you want to be able to shape it a little uh, to choose the position of your operational amplifier. Yes. So they are very easy uh, to do on your own. Uh, if you don't like to do stuff like that, if you don't have the time to do something like that uh, they are a little lower than four dollars each i got four of them off aliexpress and they look quite nice i won't be doing a sound quality review they do work and that's what they should do one thing to note here though actually two things to note here uh, the first one uh, these are about i think five or six centimeters long uh, which means that you have to be careful about placing uh, very fast operational amplifiers here because these uh, wires can possibly act as antenna so you don't want to have that and you do not want to have your operational amplifier oscillating so always uh, try and check if the sound is fine uh, the second thing is that if you place something like staccato here, uh, staccato and other discrete class A operational amplifiers uh, will get warm. So you'll probably want to make sure that your operational amplifier will not hit the board below because it may short something. On the other hand, you wouldn't like to uh, place it in a, some kind of plastic bag which would be the first idea to make sure that it's not shorting anything uh, because of the heat that this type of discrete amplifier will generate so always think about two uh, things the first one try and hear it the sound is fine with this um, with this with this uh, this 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 with this extension socket and the second one always uh, beware of shorting or shorting anything and do not block the air around the operational amplifier uh, it's always good to have a set of these uh, in your box with your operational amplifiers because you never know when something like that may be useful uh, that's the first uh, thing I wanted to tell you and the second one is uh, for getting your operational amplifier just a little bit higher on the PCB board you should also uh, order and buy a couple of uh, deep sockets uh, loose deep sockets why? because you can stack them together one on top of another like that and two of them will give you additional, I don't know, four millimeters of the PCB board. So 
I have four of them to use uh, for all my uh, needs uh, when I'm testing equipment, but I also do have a set of loose uh, deep eight sockets, which are very, very, very cheap, and I don't think you'll be able to buy them in amounts less than 10. So that's all. They work. They are about a little bit less than four dollars each. Uh, I'll give you a link uh, in, the, in the description. If I forgot to mention anything, just ask me in the comments.